Let's see if this is the fastest way to paint Christmas flowers using acrylics and turn them into Christmas cards. Cardboard recycling, like the sturdy back of a paper pad, is free material you can use to make cards. Let's take a postcard and use that as a template and trace the shape on the cardboard and cut it out. Mine is pretty thick, so I need to use the carpet knife. Let's prep the cardboard for painting to create a layer between the paint and the cardboard so the paint doesn't soak in and it stays brighter and more vibrant. I'm using white gesso to prime it, but if you don't have gesso, there are ways to DIY it or you could choose to skip this step. I'll do a couple of red flowers on a white background and a couple of white flowers on a red background. So I'll do a paint layer on each card. I tested this on a scrap piece of cardboard first. I'm using two techniques. I'll start by painting the green poinsettia leaves with a flat brush, dipping it in two green paints and painting one half of the leaf in one stroke and then the other half in a second stroke. I didn't load the brush with enough paint and it turned out patchy, so you'll want to use some more paint and do at least four leaves, making it round with a sharp point. So this technique works for wider leaves or petals. To make more narrow leaves, let's use a round brush and press it very lightly at first to create the sharp point and then press it down more to spread the paint stroke to make the rounder part of the leaf. You could also load a bit of white on the paintbrush to make the leaves look more lively. And in my case more opaque, because the white paint I have is the most opaque one out of the ones I'm using here. Now moving on to the white or red bracts, which are not actually the flower petals, but modified leaves. I'm repeating the same techniques, painting one bract in two strokes for the lower ones, Loading the brush with either white and dipping one end of the flat brush in green or yellow to create the leaf veins in the middle or loading the brush with red and sometimes dipping it in white. And using a round brush for the smaller bracts on top and dipping the tip in a different color to create that line down the middle. It might not look good at this point, but it gets better as you add more layers. I recommend adding no water or very little water and if you have enough paint brushes, try using the same brush for the same color the whole time and don't rinse in between because a wet brush will make this a lot harder. But also don't let the paint dry on the brush for too long because it will get harder to clean. I didn't like the fact that the green leaves were showing through so much. So for the next two ones I tried starting with the red or white leaves and just adding smaller green leaves in between. Before the final touches that actually make these look like poinsettias, I wanted to mention that if you make too many Christmas cards, you could take the extras to organizations who send them out to elderly people, like this one that collects Christmas cards in libraries in Finland. Once you have the leaves and bracts in place, let's add the actual flowers in the center. You could use the other end of a paintbrush to stamp them on or paint them with a small brush. I used yellow, white and dark red for the red ones and light and dark green for the white ones. And you can add the mid veins in the red or white leaves that don't already have them. If the flower looks lopsided, keep adding more leaves or make the existing ones bigger. But if you want to paint on three-dimensional Christmas decor, you'll find some ideas in this video here. See you there!